Well, growing up in Arkansas was really fun. It was a nice place. Uh, <clears throat> my father was a cotton buyer, and so we lived in one small town after another. He would get transferred from one place to another. And, uh, but I spent most of my childhood in Blytheville. And um, Blytheville was a town of about 10,000 people. It was a good town, a good town to grow up in. I was in a play in the third grade. It was Hansel and Gretel. And in the middle of the play, uh, one of the kids forgot his lines. And there was this dreadful pause. And I ad-libbed and saved the day. And I felt this flush of power. I mean, it was, <laughs> and I thought, oh, I want to keep feeling like this. This is a great feeling. And I think that's the day the bug bit me. <laughs> I became very interested um, in the theater as I, as I grew a little older. I just felt that's what I wanted to do. I was in plays in high school, and then I had um, kind of an aunt who lived in Long Beach, and she was back in Arkansas once visiting some of her relatives, and she said, if you ever want to come to California to have a go at being an actress, I'll help you. And I went to some of the talent scouts around town, and they said, um, you'll have to lose your southern accent. And I said, what accent? <laughs> <laughs> then I got a job in a quickie western, which then, <laughs> six-day western, and then they rather liked that, so they signed me up, and then we did six movies in five weeks. I did <laughs> quickie westerns, <laughs> and they were great experience because you got so tired you forgot about the camera, and that's the best thing, you know. Is to <laughs> so it was a wonderful learning experience, and, uh, and then... Uh, I began to go and audition at studios and so on, and, and uh, Sophie Rosenstein, who was the head of talent at Universal, she liked me. I think I read for, I read for a role in Bright Victory, a movie, a very good movie with Arthur Kennedy and Peggy Dow, and this was like the second lead in the picture, second female lead. It was, you know, and um, they said to me, uh, can you do a southern accent? <laughs> I said, I think I can. <laughs> All these years of working to lose the Southern accent. <laughs> and so that was the first film that I did, was Bright Victory. And I, the role I played was uh, his girlfriend before he had been in the war. He was a blinded veteran. And I couldn't really handle his being blind. And so uh, Peggy Dow became his the, the heroine in the picture. But. Um, they picked up the option for the contract after that. And so, so all of a sudden, I, I had a place to go every day. You know, I knew everybody in wardrobe and hair and so on, and, and uh, they would assign me a role in something or other. And uh, so, and then I would get, my best assignment, of course, was Bend of the River with James Stewart. So to work with him was heaven. <laughs> also a great learning experience to watch him to watch, uh, I remember watching his close-up one day, and I thought, how does he do that? He's not, quote, doing anything, and yet everything is there, you know, screen acting. So it was a great lesson, you know, and a great learning experience. At that time, under contract, uh, you would finish one, one uh, project, and you'd say, well, uh, what's next? Creature from the what? You know, I'd been working with James Stewart and Arthur Kennedy and you know, all these things, and I thought, well, gosh, if I turn this thing down, they'll put me on suspension, I won't get paid, and what the hey, it might be fun. <laughs> and so I said, okay, and it was fun. It was fun. It was well-directed, and as we know, it's become a classic, so I'm awfully glad I didn't turn it down. <laughs> oh. Dear Ben Chapman, it was fun. Ben Chapman would come out in the morning, and you know, and I would say, "Good morning, Beastie." Pat him on the face, you know, and we all sort of, kind of just, you know, took it all with a sense of humor, and did our work. <laughs>